Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to another installment of A Week in Geekdom. I, I truly wish it were under better uh, circumstances uh, that, that I'm recording this video. But unfortunately, it isn't. Um, I, I made a... I shared something from my personal Facebook on uh, the community tab. So if you, you're subscribed to the channel, you have some understanding of what's been happening. This video was supposed to go out a week ago. And uh, I can safely say this is the hardest um, challenge in my life so far <laughs> but but God is good and um, he has placed this amazing wall of love and, and comfort and support in so many people that have reached out and have um, told me how much uh, how much they care and their sympathies and their well wishes and, and and I don't think ever in my life I will be thankful or, or not <laughs> I don't think ever in my life I should say I'll find the time to completely uh, appreciate each and every single comment it's just overwhelming the emotions that I'm feeling and and it's just it's it's been a devastating couple of days weeks um gonna this this video is supposed to be a happy one uh and i have to be happy because i'm alive and i'm here talking with you guys but heart of the matter is it's not a happy video um this is a channel update and um uh, November, I guess, haul video or whatever, because it was originally going to be a haul video for the month of November. All the geeky stuff I acquired in the month of November. But unfortunately, at the start of November 2020, my, uh, my dad had an accident. He was, and I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys, because... I'll, I'll tell you why in a bit um he was he was he, he's he was he was such an amazing person um he was cleaning a, a roof uh part of the a railing and a rooftop uh the back of the house if you will because uh recently uh rat or something died and he was cleaning it he set up the ladder and uh fortunately because he was hosing everything down uh the lost footing the ladder slid and he fell he broke his knee and was in the hospital for a couple weeks which was why i was not doing as many videos and I was suspending things and I was canceling stuff and I wasn't even on uh, the Omnibus Collectors Network like I usually am Mondays and Thursdays. Um, I did one episode but that was because uh, dad was out of the hospital and uh, he was home so I was taking care of him and usually at night uh, dogs are outside and I gotta watch for them because um, it's an open area and uh, uh, they're Labradors and a frog can come in or something and a Labrador's instinct is to hunt, right? So they could get poisoned, uh, sick and die, which has happened in the past where uh, one of them bit into a frog and we had to take him to the vet urgently because he was going to die out of the poison and all that stuff. So at night, I... I uh, it was either dad or, or myself that was looking after them. But since he's in bed, he was in bed and he couldn't uh, use his leg, I had to do it. So I wasn't, I wasn't available. 
to do videos, live videos. Uh, so after that, uh, he started getting physical therapy to uh, better his leg. And they were saying like maybe February, January, February, uh, he'll gain his footing back and all that stuff. And uh, it was a long process. He was a little bit frustrated and a little depressed that he was just stuck uh, on, uh, on his bed because he was such an active guy. He was always in the front or the back of the house doing something whether it's yard work or building stuff or even in his little office and uh, looking for stuff and downloading uh, PDFs which he loved reading um, so uh, last week he finally uh, with enough physical therapy, he was starting to be able to uh, stand up a little bit and use a walker. So uh, last weekend uh, was Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, I should say. And it was that Thursday up till Sunday on the 29th was some of the most impressive magical beautiful uh, days that I've ever spent with a loved one. Uh, my dad, I, um, uh, I loved them from every fiber of my being 33 magical years he he loved making people laugh and uh, talking with people and helping people if they if he could um, he wasn't he wasn't a gamer but because he loved me because he loved me so much, uh, he would play uh, games with me. Ever since we got the NES back in, I don't know, 1990 or something like that, um, we would love playing uh, Darkwing Duck and a bunch of other video games. And I, I, I have every uh, console up to now, and you know, minus the new ones uh, that came out in uh, 2020. Um, one of our favorite games was Mario Kart. And you might remember a couple months ago when I did a haul video and I hauled a Mario Kart 8. Now there was two reasons for that. One, I wanted to add it to my Switch collection because I, I, I'm all in with the Switch and collecting as much as I can for it uh, that I want because there's a lot of crappy titles out there for the Switch. Uh, there's like 3,000 games. <laughs> But one of the games that I really wanted to add, the essentials, if you will, was Mario Kart 8. But also, uh, I'm an only kid, and the few friends that I got, uh, they, they're they gone. And I don't mean like in a bad way, they're just, you know, you grow up and everybody goes their separate ways, right? So I, I don't have a lot of people to interact with, aside from... Omni Bros and, and all the wonderful people at the Omnibus Collectors Network, uh, the fangirls, all those guys, which I love so much. But uh, let's face it, they're they're digital. <laughs> I haven't. I'm far away where I can't physically come in contact with them, especially in 2020, right? Uh, so <clears throat> I was always by myself. And one of the things that I really enjoyed was if I would get something really cool. Uh, my dad would be there and I'd be oh dad check this out this is awesome he didn't really care <laughs> but but he cared you know what I mean like uh, it's not like he was an avid gamer but he would play with me and he would actually really like Mario Kart he really enjoyed that game and I got Mario Kart for that specific moment. I remember when I got it a few months later, I think uh, sometime in September, 
Uh, we had a whole freaking day, a whole marathon, like five, six hours. We played every course on the Switch. I put it on the TV, Pro Controller, Switch Control, all that stuff. It was it was awesome. I loved that day. Um, so after that, um, uh, you know, he was now, this month, in November, he was in bed. And I know how uh, taxing that can be. And I wanted him because TV sucks. I mean, he's not, he wasn't huge into streaming. Uh, I have all the streaming channels, but he didn't really care about that stuff. He mostly uh, watched um, uh, Nat Geo, Animal Planet, uh, Sports, uh, Motor Trend, stuff like that. That stuff, you know. I enjoyed watching that stuff with him, but I knew that eventually, you know, you get sick of it because TV, TV sucks nowadays. It's terrible. So. I would say, hey, you want to play with the Switch? Uh, no, maybe, maybe later. But on the on this past uh, Thanksgiving weekend, uh, he played Switch with me, and we played back and forth with Mario Kart. He tried beat a course. I, I, uh, if he couldn't do it, I'd step in. Uh, I showed him my Animal Crossing Island. He knows how much I've been hooked on Animal Crossing. Um. Uh, Super Mario 35 and um, Pinball FX3. Those were the uh, rotate, and I'm sorry for uh, all this. <laughs> Those were the rotating games, if you will, that I would keep uh, playing with him. It, it, it was awesome. It, it really was. So that uh, that weekend, uh, ate good food, turkey big ass fantastic turkey sandwich uh i think it was saturday evening or something i even watched some crunchyroll documentaries because they did some that related to uh basketball and slam dunk and we were having such a great time so uh come sunday um it was just another fantastic day uh, we ate great food played more switch uh even my 3ds which i have over there uh i have mario kart 7 on the 3ds so he played a little bit of that because i was charging the switch because i ran out of battery right so after that um we watched some crappy movies uh the the predator movie the latest one which is terrible but he wanted to watch it anyways so i said you know that movie's t pretty terrible i even i haven't seen it uh, fully seen it, but he was like, nah, let's, I'll watch it, whatever. It's <laughs> something to pass the time. Um, we even had dessert, and that's monumental for this household because he's never liked eating dessert. It's not, it's not a thing. Like, yeah, I mean, you do like it, but it's not like, uh, after every meal, I gotta have dessert. Well, this time he did. And, uh, I remember we were watching, um, uh, Deadpool 2 and he was complaining because uh, I had to explain the plot because he kept telling me uh, I could never understand these X-Men movies they're too convoluted and I said yep they are pretty convoluted but thankfully they're done now because Marvel's got them and Disney and Avengers all that stuff so they're gonna reboot everything oh okay cool so this is around four maybe five p.m. Uh, my time I'm an hour ahead of the uh, Eastern Standard Time and I said you know I'll be back I'll be right back because I want to record a video for the channel my November pickups haul videos or whatever and uh, at the same time I was looking like a freaking hobo <laughs> and then I, I said let me shave because I don't want to look like a freaking hobo all the time on YouTube because uh, looks are everything and uh, he said uh, yeah you do that and then I'll take a shower because uh, when he does you gotta watch over him so he doesn't fall or anything because he has a busted up leg that he can't use I said yeah okay cool so I shaved and I went back to tell him something and by uh, accident my one of my toes got stuck underneath uh, a door. Right now, it's hurts a little bit. 
heard a lot back then when it happened a week ago and he told me oh you got to be careful with that you hit i didn't even tell anybody and he was smart enough and wise enough to know that something was up and told me uh, you got to watch out because you could lose a nail like that uh because it gets all black and stuff because of the blood and yeah it, it's it, it looks pretty hideous it doesn't it doesn't hurt or anything but it's uh it's not a pretty sight to look at so um after that uh, told me uh get some ice on it so i did and i'm computers over there which I use for streaming and all that stuff so I was just looking at random videos while I had my ice pack on my toe my mom is helping my dad to uh, take a shower and uh, all of a sudden I hear her screaming out my name and I immediately thought shit uh, he must have fallen, busted up his leg. And I run up there, and it wasn't that. Um, I'm not going to share all the details, but uh, I, I thought at first it was um, a low blood sugar episode, because I've had that all my life. I can't do a lot of really hard work. Uh, I still don't know why. I don't know if it's a... Uh, heart condition or whatever it may be. I, I, I back in October, early October, I did a glucose test where they pinch you like four or five times to measure what's happening, and you can't eat anything, and you got to drink a whole bottle of uh, glucose and all that stuff. It's disgusting. Turns out I'm fine, but I am. Uh, what's the freaking word for it? I'm not even going to edit this video. Hypoglycemic, I think it's what it's called. If not, I do apologize. Um, there are two types of that. You can be a diabetic and uh, be at risk of that. And there are normal people, like you and I, that on rare occasions suffer from it as well. And that's what I was told from the doctors, that um, basically uh, I, I, I got to eat. <laughs> so I got to take my snacks and proper meals and all that stuff because... I could go down that route, and it's terrible. You get all dizzy, you lose all consciousness, and um, uh, you get all pale white, and uh, you just want to faint. And I, th I, th I thought at first that's what's happening. So I rushed. I, I was nervous at first, and I, um, like a quick yell later, like a second yell, I got into it, and I grabbed... Um, malt beverage and sugar and all that stuff and we uh, gave him that stuff to so you know so he can get his uh thing again his breath again and it did he uh he said like it's passing but immediately after like a minute later it came back up again and this happened multiple times it's at this point where everybody's freaking out and my uh uncle is there helping him so he doesn't pass out or you know whatever um we we called um nine uh nine one one And um, they arrived. I had to leave the bathroom to open up, right? Um, so I was, I was standing there. I was holding onto his legs because his legs busted up. I'm thinking this is this is the shittiest day ever, and I'm praying so hard for it not to get any worse. And. Uh, Dad's asking for me, and I tell him, I'm right here, I'm right here, and I'm grabbing on. I had to go. Um, I had to go get the uh, the 911 and EMTs and all that stuff, so I had to leave for a second, 
and somebody took over. Um, <sighs> that's the last time I saw him. Turns out, um, it was, um, um, blood clot, uh, blood clot, which fucked everything up. Fuck them. Fuck me. The whole family. And I apologize for the language, because I, I never talk this way on We Can Geek Them. Um, they took him to the hospital. Fortunately, he, uh, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. That was a week ago, as of this video, and I, I, I'm still processing. I'm still grieving. I'm still, I'm depressed. I'm, I'm angry. I'm upset. I'm still faithful. And if you've watched my channel since day one, I've always wished well for you guys, for everybody. Because God is great. And he works in mysterious ways. And I'm not one to understand that plan, what that plan is. But eventually, with more uh, maturity and understanding and, and sort of this awakening, if you will, because things have to change, right? We're only here for so long and uh, we got to make the most of it. Um, what I take from all of this is that uh, obviously this channel is going to change. I, I, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to do videos on, on, on YouTube because this is what I like doing. Uh, and I know it's, it's, it's nearly impossible, but it's not impossible. And I am committed more than ever to doing this. To doing this for you guys, for myself, for my sanity, for my mental health. And I'm committed to doing this for my dad. Because he was my, he was my number one fan. No matter what I wanted to do in life. He always had my back. Whatever craziness it was, whether it's radio, YouTube. Uh, recently, I was really, uh, I was telling him, man, when freaking COVID, this COVID bullshit ends, uh, we gotta go to Best Buy because I wanna buy uh, Elgato game capture card and. I made a stream before this, which I took down because my internet's so crappy, it actually cut out half of what I, I was talking about. And in that video, I was uh, telling you guys that I wanted to update things for 20, um, oh my God, <laughs> for 2021. And that includes a better internet connection. And that is, God willing, hopefully going to happen around February, March, where uh, there's going to be a, a new uh, service provider not new but new for me and if it works out you know they told us february march if everything goes well no hiccups uh i would see a massive significant upgrade to the streaming and there's so much i want to do online and i was i i think i found my calling when i started doing omni bros live when i started doing my videos and i said you know this is really awesome. This is really cool. This is something that I could see myself doing for so long because I like entertaining people with my, I, I'm not the funniest guy or anything, but with my humor, my way of thinking and my anecdotes and my style, if I can entertain people and take them out of their crappy bubble, if you will, for a couple minutes of their time uh, during a day, 
I'd done my job. That's that was the goal. Plus, I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you guys. The whole purpose uh, was this channel can get me exposure to other things that I want to do. Um, whether it's video game related, whether it's voiceover related, stuff like that, you know. Uh, so those dreams are still alive and well. And he, Dad, was my number one supporter. And um, uh, he was always so angry that, like, I would tell him, "Oh man, uh, this channel or that channel." He recently jumped this huge milestone, uh, so many thousand subscribers, and he's uh, earning money and getting all these sponsorships and and whatnot. And he got angry because. Uh, like any good parent, like, like, why don't you do that so that you can, uh, you know, so you can get all that stuff too. What, why, why are they, you know, if they can do it, you can do it too. If they got a hundred thousand, if they got 30, 40, 50,000 subscribers, you can do it too. You got to work hard at it. And he sent me, you might remember earlier what I said about PDFs. He used to send me PDFs of how to make money on YouTube. But I kept telling him, you know, this is some, this is old data because things change. Uh, you know, Google buying out YouTube and all that stuff. Everything changed. PDFs were many years old, by the way. So he always believed in me. He always said that I should, uh, if I'm passionate about it whatever it may be this case the internet go for it and that's never going to change and it sucks that the sub count is low but i'll take my blessings because i have uh as of this video 2.2k of the best subscribers in the whole freaking world and i love every single one of you guys um i don't know when the next video is going to be my plans are completely shattered my heart is broken um it's gonna take a while for me to stitch everything back up but it's still gonna be leaking but i'm pretty sure that he would have wanted me to um keep moving forward and I made a couple promises. This 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 was all so sudden. Um, but I always told him I would make that channel grow and I would freaking learn how to use uh, Photoshop. He always wanted me to learn how to use it. And I was always interested. But I've always been sort of a lazy guy. And like I'll get something. I have a book, manga. And I'll say, oh, I got it. I'll read it later and I'll place it there and <laughs> won't come back to it three four months later and I've always struggled with that all my life I've gotten better at it but it's still there so now with what's happened I am trying to build up that resolve to work at this it's gonna be difficult because I don't have all the tools with me aside from my heart and my smarts um, you know it sucks when you you're you're i only have like 16 megabytes download which is pathetic i i saw a youtuber lately complaining that he had like 20 30 megabytes upload speed and that was trash i'm like <laughs> my dude you are uh wow okay <laughs> clearly you um you don't know what you're saying because there are people out there worse than you and they make stuff happen and i've uploaded hundreds of videos on this channel with my limited abilities and, and, and tools and stuff and i've made it work somehow god has given me the strength to find ways to upload the content and having the emotional support of family and friends has always helped and and now it's no different. I need you guys more than ever. If you're subscribed to the channel, and it sucks if you're, if you're new here and you're watching, this is your very first video, this must be a bummer. You're probably unsubscribing. That's okay. I don't mind. Um, leave a like on the way out if you're, if you're leaving. <laughs> so 
long story short, uh, we can talk about it later. Uh, we can talk about what I plan to do with the channel at a later time. Uh, I am going to be focusing more on certain things, which I've hinted at in the past. That's not going to change. And gaming streams, all that fun stuff. It's 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 going to happen. 2021 uh, is going to be interesting, and God willing, things will be a lot better. But uh, you guys deserved that update, and I wanted to get this message out for you guys. I wanted I wanted the world to know uh what was happening and um I, I wanted them to know that the world lost someone special because i am who i am because of that person and my mom <laughs> she'll be upset, upset if I don't give her credit too because it's true but I am who I am because of that person and until my last dying breath I will be thankful I will be so eternally grateful for everything that I was taught and life doesn't end when you die you move on and you're with God and I know uh, I feel him in my heart and around me and all his memories feel me give me sustenance in life and yeah there are a lot of things I want to do in life that I haven't done and everything will be done in his honor um yeah, this video is super long already. I'm not going to edit any of this. Uh, let's do the haul video for November November 2020. I don't even know the future of the channel when it comes to hauls. I will be hauling much less because I'm going mostly digital, but I am still getting a few anime and manga. So, yeah. Let's start with manga, right? <clears throat> uh, Manga-wise, for the month of November here, uh, we have... Um, the Ancient Magus Bride, Volume 13, right there, from Kore Yamazaki. Here we have Volume 18 of Demon Slayer. This is nearly over, right? 23 is the last one, and I think it's going to come out in June, July, August of 2021. That That, that is annoying. From having by... Um, by monthly releases? I'm not too sure. It, it was a long wait. And then they switched over to monthly releases to catch up. Now, for the final three or four volumes, they're going to milk the hell out of it. And because uh, the <laughs> Demon Slayer, uh, the movie, is one of the best selling movies of all time in Japan. So they're going to milk that bad boy. So yeah, here's volume 18. I have not read this. I'm kind of thinking of reading that in a few. Uh, finally finished uh, getting Blank Canvas, if you might remember, I got Volume 2, 3, or Volume 3, then 2, 4, 5, and then I got Volume 1, so now I can do a whole read-through and uh, give you my honest feedback on the whole series, all five volumes. Uh, I got this because of the Uncanny Omar near mint condition, he uh, basically... Uh, insisted and begged that I get this. Uh, I told him, ah, I don't know if I want to get it or not, and he was upset. No, you, you gotta read it. So here is uh, Meizan Ikoku from uh, Rumiko Takahashi. Uh, Rumiko, I've only read and seen Inuyasha, which I'd love dearly, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I've seen the Urusei Yatsura anime, but I haven't read any of, any of her work, so I'm really excited to collect uh, Maison. Here is my very first light novel, which I got uh, late October. This was on sale for... This is retail 14 bucks. Uh, I think I got it for $7.99 off of Amazon. It's ReZero Volume 1. And I don't know. I think I got it because I loved Season 2 so much that I wanted to... Oh, excuse me. I wanted to own uh, the series in some shape or form aside from the anime. I didn't want to get the manga. I don't know. Uh, I felt like I needed to own a light novel in my uh, otaku weeb uh, collection. I don't know what I'm saying. But speaking of wonderful collections, I got the second Pokemon Adventures box set. This is basically gold and silver right here, which you can see. comes with a cool poster inside. 
And um, you might be asking, Gio, why didn't you get the collector's edition? Well, I received uh, from my folks on Three Kings Day 2020 the first box set as a Christmas holiday gift. And if you know me, uh, I, I never discard gifts and I treasure them uh, forever and I try and keep them as long as possible. I don't sell them or anything so I didn't want to sell that box set and um, obviously th the collector's edition are three in ones and I didn't want to uh, double dip or anything so the plan is I have all of this which leads up to I think volume five so I, I, I'm not too sure right now but I need to get uh, this is from volume 8 all the way up to 14. I need to get volume 15 in this format and then get uh, the the next collector's edition, which I think is volume 6 with the uh, uh, Ruby and Sapphire cover on it. I think that's... And, and I, then I won't double dip and I can continue the series collecting the Pokemon manga in the nicer format. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I got that. Oh, and this th little thing right here, uh, which was actually the last manga my old man saw. Uh, God rest his soul. Um, this is the Nausic of the Valley of the Wind from Hayao Miyazaki, the hardcover edition. This was on sale on Amazon. Uh, I think the cover price for this is 70 bucks, and it was on sale for... $39. I jumped on it because I always wanted to own this. It looks so awesome. Uh, fantastic hardcovers. Uh, here, let's take a quick look. He was really impressed by it. And even though, again, same like the same anecdote I did with video games, um, he knew about anime and manga because, uh, you know, if you're a dad, you, you take interest in what you're children like so he knew about certain things didn't really care for it but still dug it that i liked it you know so he uh liked this and i can't wait to uh dig in and eventually uh review it on the channel and all that fun stuff so looking forward to doing a video on the nausicaa box set uh let's do anime right here a couple months ago, I got a really great deal on Iron-Blooded Orphans, the uh, Mobile Suit Gundam series. So I only got season one, and since they came out with a season two complete edition or whatever, uh, they're reducing the price on this. So I got volume one for dirt cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks, and I pre-ordered the second one as well, but unfortunately it did not arrive for this video, as is the norm on this channel. Uh, another thing I got is Duradada Season 2 or X2 Volume 4. I'm missing Volume 5 and 6, which sadly are out of print. I don't know how I'm going to get them because I can't find them anywhere. Uh, obviously, it being a Right Stuff exclusive, it sucks. I wish we didn't have Right Stuff exclusives, honestly. It gives us a fair shot at finding them uh, out in the wild or with uh, more sellers online at lower prices. So I don't know. My plan is to get the Region 2 version, which has, it's basically five and six in one set, and I would get everything. Even if I can't watch it in uh, Region 1 players, uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think um, about the whole art Region 2, Region 1 thing? Should I get that? It would mostly be for uh display purposes because i can't uh play it but i was i would obviously just watch it online uh problem solved but yeah i i got this um before it went out of print these are pricey that's the only reason it took so long and you know too late right <laughs> they sold out so this is volume four of the series uh, if you watched my fall 2020 anime impressions video, I was gushing about uh, Higurashi When They Cry, the new anime. Turns out it's not a new series, it's a continuation, but it's also uh, reboot-ish, if you will. You can go in blind and enjoy it. You're going to be a little bit lost, but you can enjoy it. And I was so hooked on it, I recently got uh, started to play the visual novel, and I found a really good deal on this. This is the complete seasons one through three collection, uh, 55 episodes on nine Blu-rays. 
And what's funny about this, I uh, this was out of stock at Sentai. I bought it from eBay for a good price, and then for Black Friday, oh, $14.99. I'm like, son of a bitch. So, yeah. Regardless, I have it. That's what, that's, uh, that's what's important. So here is When They Cry, and here is Inuyasha. One day, remind me one day to tell you guys a story about this. It's a uh, pretty uh, mixed feelings about this, but I love Inuyasha so much. Um, remind me of that one day. If I'm ever on a live stream or something, remind me of it, please. And of course, I'm not gonna do a video unboxing on this. I did a video for volume one. This is the exact same thing as volume one, which is redundant for me to do an unboxing for it because all the changes are uh, the art, you know? Here's the cover for it, and here's the back. I love this image. This one's really cool. As you can see here, the two Blu-rays. Let me show you real quick. You get the booklet. I'll do the unboxing here. Why the hell not? Here are the soundtracks and the uh, Blu-rays themselves, the last part of season one so now i can't wait to watch the movie next year whenever they make it uh hopefully it's a video on demand because i ain't interested at all into going into movie theaters anytime soon do not give a shit about going into theaters please do a video on demand i will support it i will stream it 20 bucks i don't care just do it since i did it recently with uh made in abyss uh this year do that uh do a like a rental weekend or something for like 15 or 20 bucks uh people will go and support it uh don't be a dick if you're doing it don't don't pirate the thing either just you know support it because we need more regional release uh, regional or locally released anime films that's what i wanted to say we need more of that so that's all the anime i got but there are a couple more cool things uh we related like this thing this is the Milan Records Cowboy Bebop uh, mixtape uh, vinyl, colored vinyl. So it's not the full soundtrack, obviously, because it was, I think, like five or six different CDs back in the day. So this is sort of a greatest hits, which I'll take it, of the first official North American uh, release for uh, seatbelts music. Hell yes. So you can see here the track listing. I'm pretty sure there's been uh, unboxings for this on YouTube, so I'm not going to bother making a separate video. Uh, you can see right there. Let me show you one of the uh, discs right here. You can see uh, Faye, one of my favorite anime characters, Spike. And it's in color, beautiful color. Oh, it's at the top. My bad. Look at that, that is really cool. It looks different on camera, but you can sort of see the color right there looking looking pretty sly. Sly. <laughs> so I got that. And comic book wise, I did get a few things. Here is TMNT, the IDW collection, volume 11 right there with Casey. Looking pretty cool. And this whole bunch oh it's heavy uh this was part of an amazon buy three get uh, one free uh these uh, i'm going to show you the two that i got the free one was actually the pokemon box set which i forgot to mention i got street fighters versus dark stalkers uh hardcover edition i it, i think it was on sale this was for a 50 dollar book it, i think it was 30 or something like that which is why i went with it and the other part of the deal, I got the Super Mario Bros. Encyclopedia, official guide from Dark Horse. I have the Hyrule Historia from Zelda, so I wanted to get this to match. One day, I'm hopeful we'll get the Metroid one. <laughs> Metroid being my favorite Nintendo franchise. And last but not least, uh, this was supposed to be out, uh, or it was out, I didn't get it. Um, I had it pre-ordered. But all the direct market websites uh, went out of stock. It is the Street Fighter Swimsuit Special Collection Edition right here from Udon. And I've had this in limbo since July. I canceled the order and the only website that still had it 
was Big Bad Toy Story, if you if you want to believe uh, that, and um, Sideshow. I had a bunch of Sideshow reward points, so I, I went ahead and used it on this, just paid for shipping, and got it. So, yeah. Obviously, super uh, sexy edition right there. Uh, you get some really cool extras. There we go. And a whole bunch of pinups that I'm going to try and show. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> there are a lot of them in there. Some are a little bit too uh, scandally clad, so I'm not going to show them off. So that is that when it comes to books. There's one more thing right here. Video games. Um, with the whole uh, glucose test that I mentioned way earlier in this video, I thought, screw it. Let's, let's get fit in some shape or form. But, you know, this month, unfortunately, has been tragic and full of horrible things. I haven't got around to using this yet, but I will. Part of my resolution uh, for next year, I guess. Uh, here we have Ring Fit Adventure for Switch. I had to buy it used because you can't find them anywhere, right? So, yeah, everything's in there. All works great. And last but not least, I have a second channel called... Uh, Geo's Arcade, if you don't know about it, where basically it's all about uh, video game discussions and unboxings and all that stuff, and eventually uh, gaming streams on there. If I ever get a chance to fix up the internet, I will go into Twitch and all that stuff. That is that is the idea. That's what I want to do. And I'll get more about it into detail at a later point in time. If you see me live on this channel... Whenever that may be, uh, let me know. Ask me about it, and I'll go more into detail. I made a video there unboxing this bad boy. This is Sakuna of Rice and Field, Divine Edition from Xseed. Fantastic. I love this game. It, it's so pretty. So I got that. Um, actually, pretty funny. Uh, Nausicaa, the Bebop vinyl, and this uh, were the last things my old man saw uh, while he was with me. Um, like I told you guys. I would show him everything, and I didn't show him everything, but this in particular, he thought it was really cool and really pretty. Same with the vinyl and the Nausicaa. So, yeah, that's that's uh, that's the update. That's the haul video. Uh, thank you so much, everybody that's left wonderful, beautiful comments. You guys uh, are amazing and beautiful people, and I am very grateful that I get to know such wonderful subscribers. And hopefully... The channel can keep growing and i want it to grow i'm gonna work hard at it next year uh december 2020 i don't think i'm gonna do anything for it i'm probably gonna do one more video because uh, i i do want to make the top anime of 2020 uh video uh maybe on the last week of the year uh, that's something that I'm already working on it. So, yeah, I am going to be pushing forward uh, with that. The reviews I had scheduled up, I'm going to post them eventually, uh, January maybe. Uh, the Tokyo Ghoul and Sailor Moon uh, reviews, uh, those are coming. I do apologize for taking so long with them. And uh, that's uh, that's about it. <laughs> I ain't got nothing else. Uh, thank you, everybody, uh, for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you want to help the channel grow... Do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. I do content like this where I go over anime, manga, and the occasional comic book. Though that might change in the future. But regardless, thank you so much for uh, supporting this. Share the video if you liked it. And um, yeah, follow me on social media. There's a merch store down below if you want to help me out and get uh, your official We Can Geek Them shirt. Yeah, I will be eternally grateful for that as well. So uh, I've rambled on too long. Thank you, everybody. God bless. I love every single one of you. Stay safe. And I will catch you on the next video, whenever that may be.